In 1850, Lucy Westenmutt gives birth to a daughter, Alicarda, in a derelict colonial palace in the woods. Immediately after the child is born, Lucy begs a hunchback gypsy to bring Alicarda to a nearby stonewalled convent inhabited by an order of Catholic nuns, as she fears the devil will claim her daughter. As the gypsy flees with the infant, a demonic voice emanates throughout the palace as Lucy dies of complications from childbirth. Fifteen years later, a teenaged Alicarda still resides at the convent. Alicarda swiftly takes an interest in Justine, a new orphan her age who has arrived, and is eager to become her friend. Alicarda quickly refers to Justine as her sister. While playing in a forest, Alicarda and Justine witness a band of gypsies holding a funeral procession. One of the men, the hunchback who helped deliver Alicarda, offers to sell Alicarda an amulet. Shortly after, the girls stumble upon the abandoned palace and wander into a crypt. There, Alicarda professes her love for Justine, and the two make a pact that they shall die together. In the crypt, they unwittingly open the grave of Alicarda's mother and are immediately overcome by a powerful supernatural force that reduces Alicarda to tears. Later, during Mass, Justine inexplicably faints. While Alicarda tends to Justine in her room, she goes into a fit and begins wildly reciting the names of demons. Beelzebub, Delphagor, Astara. The hunchback gypsy appears in the room as Alicarda invokes Satan, and the girls perform a blood ritual. Meanwhile, while praying, Sister Angelica has a vision of Alicarda and Justine performing a satanic ritual with the gypsies in the woods and engaging in a mass orgy. During the ritual, one of the priestesses is stricken down by Sister Angelica's invocation of God and is killed. The next day during school, Alicarda and Justine begin chanting and professing their dedication to Satan. Satan, Satan. Much to the horror of the nuns and their peers. The nuns make several unsuccessful attempts to have the girls repent, one of which ends with Alicarda attempting to seduce Father Lazaro during confession. Lazaro and the nuns, horrified by this, engage in a mass flogging of each other as punishment for their failure to save the girls from demonic influence. After, Lazaro concludes they must perform an exorcism of Justine, who has grown progressively ill. During the exorcism, they bind Justine to a cross and poke at her flesh with instruments, eventually causing her to bleed to death. Dr. Osik, arriving to examine Justine, walks in on the exorcism and is horrified by what he sees. Deeming the practice archaic and sadistic, Osik takes Alicarda with him, fearing for her life. Alicarda awakens in Dr. Osik's home, frightened and confused, and is comforted by his blind daughter, Daniela. Meanwhile, Osik is summoned back to the convent, where the nuns have found that Justine's corpse has disappeared. Upstairs, Sister Germana is found inexplicably burned alive. When her body reanimates, Father Lazaro bludgeons and ultimately decapitates her. The event challenges Osik's science-based beliefs, and he flees back home, fearing for Daniela's safety. Upon arriving, he finds Alicarda and Daniela are both gone. Osik is led to the abandoned crypt by the nuns, who suspect Alicarda might have gone there. Inside, Sister Angelica finds Justine's body lying in a blood-filled coffin. Now a vampire, Justine attacks Sister Angelica, but Angelica manages to stop the attack by praying. Osik interjects and pours holy water on Justine, driving her into a fit, and she bites Angelica's neck before disintegrating. Followed by Osik, several monks carry Angelica's body back to the convent, where Alicarda has arrived with Daniela. Using supernatural powers, Alicarda begins destroying the convent and causing various clergy to spontaneously combust in the grotto. Upon witnessing Angelica's corpse, Alicarda is suddenly overcome with sorrow and goes into a fit of rage at the base of a burning crucifix in the chapel. After she collapses, Alicarda's body disappears into the ground as Father Lazaro and Osik look on.